Today, we're going to take on one of the largest projects that I've ever worked on. To be more specific, we're going to improve this black concrete here. You might be wondering, how is that a big project? That's like 10 blocks. And, well, you're right. Except, we're not going to change the black concrete at all. We are going to make use of maps. Because maps show blocks in a 128 by 128 area, if we make our own build in this area, the map will show that build from above. And using item frames, we can show this map wherever we want in game. So to make a map big enough for this area, we need an even bigger area in the world. So a fellow mechanist member, Speedcuber, went off on a journey to the end. Okay, I think this is uh, as good as it gets. So Speedcuber built up an array of TNT bomber flying machines and began to blow up the end. And these machines were run until Cuber had created a massive hole in the void. But this thing is still pretty dangerous. You could easily fall in and lose all your stuff. So to counter that, what I want to do is make a platform at the very bottom of the void. But placing 400,000 blocks by hand would take quite some time. So instead, we'll build up a machine designed by divided by zero to ease up the process. I think we have enough materials for this. Yeah. And there's an enderman that spawned on these pumpkins, so I'm just gonna... Goodbye. I would suggest having a totem while we build this. Um, I'm fine. A few minutes later. Nice. I was on the end island though. It's fine. Okay. I told you I didn't need a totem. Yeah. <laughs> I think this is the enderman that killed you, so... Uh... There you go. Do you have any extra totems? <laughs> Always. Okay. Well, I'll tell you what the next thing you can do is. I'll just build the thing. No, but it, it's the, the, the way you do it's important. Okay, this should be the last few blocks. And that is it. We should be all done. And now all we have to do is start the machine. Okay, how do I align myself so I don't okay. die? Place the concrete against that observer now. What you want to do is go around here and you're going to place it against that concrete. Oh, I see what you mean. I'm going to put myself in the void, but it's fine. Three, <laughs> two, one. There we go. It looks like it's working so far. I just want to see it moving. I think it worked. It looks like it worked. Now I just have to keep placing overnight. So the machine worked and we ran it until we filled the entire area with black concrete. So it turned out the maps don't actually render blocks at Y0, so we had to move up the entire area using some flying machines. Also, I may or may not have accidentally killed DH and had to go netherite mining, but anyways, we are ready to build. I've gathered all the materials for the map part, so now we can start building. Okay, I'm just gonna start placing stone. So we all got to work building up the first part of this map art. This isn't even half of what we're going to end up building, but you can start to see this thing coming together. This map is definitely coming along. Golly gee it is. I think that our tickets map art is done. Alright, what's next? Oh wow, will call is also pretty close. And that's right, the maps that we've built so far are for our ticket booth and our will call here at the theme park. And with that, we are done with this map art. So now we can fill out these maps and see how it looks. There's one. Now that we have our maps, we can head over to the theme park. But first, let's get a solid black map. Then I'll also lock it. Do you have any blocks that we can use as scaffolding? I have shulkers. I'll get some scaffolding blocks. I have a good idea for what we can use. Scaffolding? No, that'd be so, too simple. I'm on my way. Copper ore, really? Well, that, it was in dig sort. <laughs> now I have to figure out which maps are the right ones. Think that one would go there? Yeah. Wait. Nope. 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 And there. Then I can outline it with these 16 black maps. It looks that so looks good. That's pretty cool. Alright, now I gotta do the other one. Yep. Same drill. And the map parts. Those 10 blocks make an unbelievable difference to the theme park. Like, like when you walk in, it feels so much more real. Get a big yeah. sign that says, we'll call, and a big sign that says tickets. It just feels so, that adds so much. And that's crazy, because it's five blocks out of a couple hundred thousand. Now, it's time to stop messing around and get started on the main build. This map is so big, we even had to remove part of the platform that we made earlier to make room for this thing. Once that was done, we started to place down the first blocks of this map. And as we continued making progress on it, you might notice something about this map. This map isn't flat. And the reason for that is because of the way maps work. Because of all the blocks in the game, we have a specific set of colors that will show up on a map. But because maps also take into account 
changes in height between blocks, this gives us more shades of each color. So using a tool like MapArtCraft, we can upload any image and it'll show us how to recreate that image on a Minecraft map using the closest shades of colors possible. That's why we have our two types of maps, flat and staircase. For our tickets map, we didn't need as much precision in the colors, so it wasn't necessary to make a staircase map for it. But for our new map, we wanted to have the colors as precise as possible so it looks as good as it can. It's going to be a lot tougher to build, but I think it'll be worth it in the end. We only have 147,000 blocks left to place. Oh, only, yeah. But we have finished two of the maps now. There's one map, and the other one. There and there. Wow, look at that. Look at that. So many hours. The next day, TK and I set out to complete the next two sections of this map art, which would total four more maps to add to our display. And it took over 10 hours, but we finally got all 64,000 blocks placed. Wow, look at that. Hold on, are those lapis blocks? Why, yes they are. We had to gather over 100,000 lapis for this project. If you're wondering how we got all this lapis, it's all thanks to another mechanist member named Red. Red modified a script that would allow his Minecraft player to continuously void trade with villagers. So he traded for three days straight to get all the lapis that we needed. This took so long, and we're still not even halfway done. Well, you want to see how these maps turned out? Oh, I sure do. Alright, let's go see them. There's one, there's another. There's that, and there's that. Look at that. Oh. <gasps> wow. That looks so good. So the next day, we set out to complete another two maps. And just as we started making a dent in this thing, this happened. TK just fell in the void and lost all of his stuff. So after a quick 8 hours of finishing this section off, we're more than halfway there. So this map goes there, and this one goes up there. And you can start to see what it's going to say. But since TK died, he's been taking a break from Minecraft. So because of all the work he's been putting into this project, I want to get him a present for when he comes back. And I think Ancient Debris would do nicely. I'm about to blow up uh, the tunnel. No, wait for me. Oh, I did not wait. Oh. No! Wait, I can hear it! Where is it? It's like, right under me. I just saw your name tag. Oh, there you are. I'm gonna find you. Oh, here we go. Hello. Oh, there's one. Alright, can I make it? Yes, I can. You're a bit high there. Oh, there's one. Oh, that's going off. Ow. Oh, actually, the damage there. That was kind of close. Alright, well, tunnels are exploding. Wait, am I at the end here? Hello. <laughs> hey. <laughs> oh no, 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 no! <laughs> I guess you could say you walked right into that one. Oh, damn. You! You! No. <laughs> you like punched me right into it. <laughs> what do you think I was doing? Alright, DH, you wanna head back? Sure. Well, that was a successful debris mining trip. So I think my 34 ancient debris, along with Krek's 20 netherite ingots, will go nicely as a present for TK. And what I'm going to do with these is hide them in a chest behind this map art. So when TK takes the map down, he'll find the chest behind it. Now all we have to do is wait. And while we're waiting for TK to come back, we might as well get some more progress done on the map art. So another 12 hours of work and we have another two map arts completed. There's our maps and there we go. I'm back, Inventor. He's back. Oh man, this is looking amazing. <laughs> okay, I want to move the map art. Can you take it down and then I'll show you the spot? Oh, there's a chest here. Inventor? That's a lot of netherite. That's enough to make a whole box of picks. Woo, I'm rich. So with that, we continued building the map. We only have around 21,000 blocks left to place. Let's finish this thing. Since we got a few more people working on this, it only took us five hours to complete. All right, guys, let's head up and place the last block. All right. We are all gathered here today to witness the conclusion of this map art. Let's get a countdown in a drum roll. Three, two, one, and place. Ooh. Yay! Let's see how this turned out. There, 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 and there. There oh, we go. Beautiful. Look at that. Oh man, it looks amazing. After spending a few minutes building up a solid black map, we went over to the theme park. I'm gonna do this one first. I'm just gonna... I missed. <laughs> like I said, I'm just gonna... 
I miss. I'm just gonna. No, final try. <laughs> First try. Let's go. That's so many mob parts. Now I need to figure out which order they go in. So there. Oh no. There. <laughs> wow. Looks incredible. That looks incredible. Speed, where are you? Let's speed back up. Beep, 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 beep. <laughs> That's a lot of maps. It looks so good. And there we go. A huge thanks to all the Mechanist members that made this possible. And if you made it this far in the video, I mean, you might as well subscribe.